All right, so a lot of times we run into in, uh, issues with condensation in attic spaces. And I think there's a misconception sometimes, or many times, where people think that ventilation is the key. If you've got condensation forming in an attic space, then it must be because it's not ventilated correctly. It's really not the case. I would actually say that more often than not, that's not the case. Um, typically, we do want the attic to be ventilated. We want to have some low intake vents and we want to have some high discharge vents. Um, but typically that's not the issue if you have condensation. I've got an issue at the place that we're inspecting right now. Um, got a situation where it's really a good indicator that the ventilation is in good condition or it's adequate as it should be. Um, but we're still getting condensation on the, the framing. Um, so I want to take you up and show you exactly what the cause on that is. So when you go up into the attic space, first thing that you're going to notice are the brown stains on the framing around the nail heads. This is pretty much universal through the whole attic. Um, the other thing, you'll see the dark spores at different spots, those black dots on the decking. Um, those are kind of universal. Some areas get a little, uh, little more aggressive than others, like that one. Now the issue here is not ventilation. We have plenty of air that's going to be moving through the gable vents. We've actually got a ridge vent up high. We've got some soffit vents. And <laughs> um, along with a myriad of other issues, we've got basically holes everywhere. We've got plenty of air that's moving through this attic space. But we've got, as you go down, now some of this is going to be related to old leaks, but like I said, other spots, are, or the majority of it is related to lack of, uh, or, or is related to condensation. So if we've got air moving, and we're still getting all of this staining on the framing, then it's not the ventilation that's the issue. The issue is when you start to look down, it's the insulation and the air sealing. Um, we want to pay attention to what air is moving from inside of the house and getting into the attic space because the air from inside during the winter time is gonna be warm and it's gonna have moisture. So if that air is escaping, whether it be through gaps in the insulation or whether it be through an access panel that doesn't have insulation or air sealing around the top, around the opening, that's where the air is moving through or from the inside to the attic that warm air is collecting on the surface, causing condensation, causing those spores to come up. And then it also will be more concentrated on your nail heads because your nails are going to transfer that cool temperature, it's going to transfer the cool temperatures through. Um, and so those are going to be the first things that actually start to show condensation. A lot of times we'll get into attic spaces and see water dripping off of those nail heads. So that's why we're seeing more staining around the nails. And then in the, the coldest times of the year, um, that's where we could get up here and probably see down low, we would probably see some frost um, on the decking and sometimes. But basically this whole attic is under insulated um, these are two by sixes so if we're seeing the tops of any of these ceiling joists um, then we're well under the insulation rating that we need um, but this is a really good indicator that ventilation is not what's going to stop condensation from forming on roof decking air sealing and insulation are your two most critical components to stopping that condensation so just a really good example of of how it's it's really not what we think it is a lot of times which is ventilation it's air sealing and insulation